Oh, hey there. Um, almost done. I'll be right with you. Tails. Heads. I read on the internet that you can unbalance a coin by sticking it in the microwave. So I tried it out. I just flipped a coin a hundred times after I put it in the microwave. And yes, I really did do it. It's quarantine. What else am I going to do? Uh, so here's the results. Let's take a look. Okay, let's get my last. My last heads. Okay, uh, so we ended up with 10, 20, 30, 48 heads. And 52 tails. Um, so right now you're probably thinking that didn't work. Microwaving coin doesn't seem to make it unbalanced. Granted, I did not get 50-50. But 48-52 um, doesn't really seem that unlikely. And this is one of the ideas that we need to talk about for section 1.2. The idea of statistical significance. Did something weird happen here or not? Is it just random fluctuation? Uh, for most of the book, I'll be giving sort of a straightforward lecture, but I think chapter one's mostly readable on its own. I'm gonna let you read chapter one, but there are a few concepts that I think are worth talking about a little bit. So I'm gonna make these little micro lectures. Uh, and one idea in, in section one, two, uh, is the idea of statistical versus practical significance. And uh, students sometimes struggle with that. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, what does it mean to be statistically significant? Um, so statistical significance um, means, let's see here. Let's say statistical uh, significance. Uh, simply means something statistically significant if it's uh, unlikely uh, to happen by chance. And granted, when I flipped this coin here, I did not get a perfect 50-50 split, but it seems like this is still probably pretty likely to happen just by chance. So I think this doesn't really indicate that the coin is unfair now. Matter of fact, let's figure out, you don't know how, to, you don't need to know how to do this yet and you don't know how to do this yet, but let's figure out the probability of getting 48 heads out of 100 flips of a coin. Uh, let's see, let's do 48 here and we'll evaluate that. This is something you'll know how to do later. Um, and about 38% of the time, when you flip a coin 100 times, uh, you'll get something like this, something that's 48 heads or less. So 38%, again, doesn't seem that unlikely. Seems like that could have happened by chance pretty easily. Um, so here's the question though. Um, what if I tried something else, uh, like maybe not microwaving it, but maybe like drilling it out or something else? Suppose I only got, um, Suppose I only got 45 heads. Uh, would you think the coin was unfair then? Or maybe um, suppose I only got 40 heads. Uh, how about if I only got 20 heads? <laughs> uh, at least by this point, down to 20, you're probably at that point definitely believing something's wrong with the coin. Right? It's not a 50-50 coin anymore. Uh, but where's this point where you start thinking something funny is going on? Is it at 45 heads? Is it maybe at 40 heads? Maybe 35? Uh, where do you stop saying the coin? I don't, I don't think the coin's fair anymore. And again, as we go on, we'll be able to figure out the probabilities for all these things. So I already said uh, to get 48 heads, the probability of that's around... Uh, this is around... Uh, 38%. So we'll use a decimal 0.38, or you could call it 38%. Uh, let's look at 45. Uh, I'll just change that and say, what's the probability of getting 45? 
And that's down to like 18% now. That'll only happen about 18% of the time with a fair coin. Uh, so this is down to an 18% chance. Granted, it can happen. <laughs> uh, let's look at 40 and let's see what the chances are there. Um, 40. Uh, now we're down to about 3% chance, a 2.8% chance. So with a fair coin, only a little bit less than 3% of the time would you get 40 heads or less. Um, so statistical significance, we say, is unlikely to happen by chance. And by unlikely, typically what we mean, we'll, we'll change this from time to time, but typically what we mean by unlikely Uh, is less than a 5% chance of happening. And this is one thing to talk about with coin flipping, but we'll talk about this too in more practical applications. Like um, at some point soon, they'll be testing a vaccine for the COVID-19 virus. And suppose they see the infection rate go down from 100 people getting infected, or from 50 of them getting infected to... 38 of them getting infected. Does that mean that the virus, the vaccine works or not? Uh, so we'll look for that statistical significance. Um, the book also talks about the idea of practical significance. And just to wrap this up, um, let's also define practical significance. Uh, so for practical significance, Uh, for that, we're just going to say uh, doesn't matter, and particularly um, doesn't matter to you. Do you think it's meaningful? And this will always be entirely an opinion question, um, but since this is a nutrition and statistics combined class, at one point we'll talk about losing weight. And I might say to you, I've got this diet. Um, I guarantee it works. Uh, you only have to spend $3,000 and you only have to really bust your butt for a year. And I can guarantee you're going to lose two pounds. And that might have statistical significance, like it's extremely unlikely that everybody would lose two pounds by chance. <laughs> uh, but the practical significance of that, most people would say, eh, probably not. Like two pounds just isn't enough for me to really care about it. Maybe for you, you're just trying to lose those last two pounds and maybe it is practically significant. Uh, but I think most people would say no practical significance there. Uh, but again, that's entirely up to you. That's always your opinion.